Cardinals. It's Mrs. Carrera again. I have another book for you. Now, I know we already passed St. Patrick's Day, but it's the same week, so I'm still going to read you a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun story. It's called The Littlest Leprechaun, okay? And it is by Brandy Doherty, illustrated by Michelle Lisa Todd. Okay, here we go. Liam was a leprechaun. He lived with his family in the enchanted forest. There were many leprechauns in Liam's village, and they were all little. But Liam was the littlest one. It was a beautiful day, but Liam was bored. He was tired of spending time playing hide and seek with his shadow. He wanted to have a big, important job. So here's a picture of him bored. And he wants a big important job. And these signs, this one is elf. I think it's a shoemaker. And this one is a pot of, a pot for a pot of gold. This is a four leaf clover. And this one looks like mail. So Liam went to his dad's cobbler shop, a cobbler's where they make shoes. His dad made shoes for leprechauns near and far. It was a very important job. Liam's dad showed him how to measure the leather for each pair of shoes. But the tape measure was very long, so Liam was all tangled up. Why don't you try helping your mom at the foundry, his dad said. Look at Liam, all tangled up, poor little guy. Liam skipped across the village to the foundry. A foundry is where they take metal and make things out of it. Every leprechaun family had a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and Liam's mom made all the pots. It was a very important job. There's his mom. See, she's pouring liquid metal into a mold, so it'll turn into a pot. Liam tried to keep the fire going while his mom melted down iron for a new pot. But Liam's hands were too small to carry enough wood, and his legs were too short to run between the furnace and the wood pile. Soon the fire went out. I think your brother and sister could use your hand, Liam's mom said gently. Liam's brother and sister worked in the post office. They sent letters and packages all over the enchanted forest. It was a very important job. I can do this, Liam said. There they are, sorting the mail, putting stuff where it belongs. But when Liam tried to mail a pair of shoes, he sent himself too. Maybe not, Liam's brother said, opening the box. You should go help Uncle Albie, his sister offered. Uh oh, he accidentally mailed himself in that box. Silly boy. So Liam went to find Uncle Albie. He was getting ready to take a load of gold to the family's pot at the end of the rainbow. Carrying gold is a very important job, Uncle Albie said. Liam was excited. Carrying gold sounds very exciting, doesn't it? There was just one problem. The gold weighed so much. Sorry, wee fella, Uncle Albie said. You're just too little. Liam wandered through the enchanted forest. He kicked the dirt. He was sad. Liam knew there had to be one important job he could do, even if he was little. There he is, feeling sad, walking through the forest. Then Liam heard a commotion near the old oak tree. A commotion is a loud sound. A group of leprechauns was gathered around Clover, the baby unicorn. Clover was little, just like Liam. But the poor unicorn's legs were stuck inside a hole. Oh no. See his little legs stuck in here? We need to dig a bigger hole, said one leprechaun. We can't, replied another. The tree roots are in the way. What if we all pull together, another leprechaun said, with a very long beard. We'll hurt her, cried a fourth leprechaun. Well, we can't just stand around all day, huffed a grumpy leprechaun. 
And there they are. They're all arguing about what to do over the poor unicorn. Liam peered, peered means looked, into the hole. Just then, he had an idea. There he is, getting an idea. Help! Liam shouted extra loud. You, said the grumpy leprechaun, you're too little. You need someone little, Liam cried. Liam reached his tiny hand into the hole and gently pushed away the root that was trapping the unicorn leg. Clover was free. She licked Liam's cheeks to thank him. Everyone cheered as Liam and Clover danced and jumped around. Well, everyone except the grumpy leprechaun. See him over here, acting grumpy. Liam had saved the day. He was the hero of the entire enchanted forest. Clover the unicorn stood proudly by his side. Before he knew it, there were jobs popping up all over Liam's village. Everyone seemed to need a little extra help. So he's feeding the unicorn, and here he's putting a small hand inside a small jar. And Liam and Clover were the perfect size. Look, he's using his little hands to gather the small four-leaf clovers. Liam had found his big, important jobs after all. But even better, he'd also made a special friend. And that is the end of our story, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you again later. Be good. Bye.